What is going on real people? Welcome back to the channel guys. So it is another week and we're back out here at the property and today we're going to be testing out two more different types of baits. Today we have Wild, Innova Wild Game Innovations. This is the crushed apple and this is the sugar beets. And today we're going to be testing out this and again we'll be doing it in the same spot, same locations, two different cameras at two different times. The first spot is going to be right here. We're going to put a little bit of pile of the apple and then a little bit pile of the beets right next to each other. Now the colors are going to be pretty much the same. The apple is just a little bit more red as you can tell right there. And then here is the beets. They're more of a lighter red. So to keep it in better perspective for y'all, the apple is going to be on the left side and the beets are going to be on the right side at the exact same spot that we had them last time. I'm going to go ahead and bring y'all down so y'all can see. So the first one we're we'll going to be doing is the apple right here. Now, both of these at Walmart were uh, 10 dollars like $11 after taxes. So not too bad in price. Now, here we are. We're going to do our first impressions. I'm going to open it up and wow. Instantly, it is super sweet smelling. It is super red. It is like powdered Kool-Aid. I don't want to open it up too much, but I want you all to get in there and see. Look at that. Looks exactly like powdered Kool-Aid. That is just crazy. It is so red. Oh, it's so sweet. You can almost smell it through the camera. That is just gorgeous. Now, here's some pretty cool facts about it. It's, they use real apples. It's crushed, blended. They have 17% protein in it with 12.5% trans fats. Y'all can see it right there, which is really good. We got the winter season coming up, so all these deer will be really looking for those fatty contents to really get them warm during the winter. So that is really good. It's what we're really going to need. So really with this test is we're just seeing which one, I guess, will attract the deer more. Do the deer prefer apples or they prefer the beets? So that's really what we're trying to see here, and I really want to find out. So... So that's really the that's really the whole point of this uh, whole test is to see really which one I guess is more sweeter, more attractant to the deer out here in East Texas. So really, we're, we're just trying to figure out what they prefer. Now, the last video, the buck bourbon, they absolutely destroyed it. Three doe came out of nowhere. Three doe I have not seen all year. Speaking of which, so uh, hopefully they keep coming back and they come back for this test as well. So I'm gonna bring y'all back down here to the floor and. We're gonna put it right here. Y'all see me? Yeah, y'all can see me. Yeah. So we're gonna put it right here. This is where the buck bourbon was at, and it's completely gone now. I kind of like made a clearance spot to get all the pine needles out of the way. So here we go. I'm gonna make a little bit more room for the beets as well, and we're gonna put them right next to each other. There we go. That is a big enough spot, I believe. So here we go. I'm gonna do half a bag here. So I'm going to do a half a bag here, and I'm going to do a half a bag at the other spot on each bag. What about half? Uh, no, more. Oh, that's about half. That's a pretty good pile. <laughs> All right, so these piles are going to be pretty big and pretty noticeable. That is a giant red pile that you can see, so the camera's going to have no problem picking that up. Now, here's the next one. This is the real sugar beets. Now, let's look at the nutrition facts on this one, shall we? This is 16% protein, 12% fat, so it's still really good. Airborne Extreme Scent, so that is going to be great, great, great. Now, it's made out of real sugar beets, which I think is really awesome. There's a few added stuff in here just to make it a little bit more, I think, sweet, but nothing too major. Now, this was the exact same price, $10.47. Another one from Wild Game Innovations. And so let's check it out. First impressions. Opening it, opening it, and I missed hate these things sometimes there we go definitely got it that time okay this one's not as sweet it's uh it has almost like a you know that carnival sweet smell at carnival's like a sweet funnel cake where it's sweet but there's just something behind it 
and that's exactly what this smells like. This one's not as bright, but uh, get your eyes up in there, guys. See it? Not as bright, but still pretty bright. Pretty bright color. Really nice. Really good smell. So now we're going to bring y'all back down here to the pile. And we're going to put it right here next to it. So here we are, we got our two piles. We, this is the sweet beets, and this is the apple. You can definitely tell because the apple is way more bright of a red and smells way sweeter. While this one, I swear, smells almost like a sweet funnel cake at the fair and is a lighter color. So we got our two big old piles right here. So now we're gonna leave this spot, go to the next spot, and we're gonna turn on the game camera. And for the next five days, we're gonna watch this spot and we're gonna see what comes out here and eats these and which one they go for. What do you think? Leave in the comments. Do you think they're going to go for the apple or the sweet beets? Now remember, this is Texas. I think they're going to go for the apple more. That's just my opinion, but uh, we're going to see. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're out here at spot number two. Right here on this side, the first one we're going to put up is the apple. Now I'm putting them on separate sides so there is a clear and distinct notification of which one is which. So apple on this side right here in this pile. It's all the apple. And then the beets. Let me rotate y'all a little bit so you can see over here. The beets are going to be right underneath this tree. Right here. Yo. Get for the beets. All right, so let me take you off the tripod here real quick so I can show you all what we got. All right, so first one here is our beet pile. It is right here next to the cedar tree. And our game camera is right here on this tree. So we got about, about a good 20, 25 feet between the, the, uh, the crushed apples and the crushed beets from uh, the game camera. Sorry, I had a brain fart there for a minute, but Here's our apple looking super red. And there's our beets. I think I might have put a little bit bigger of a pile on the beets, but that is okay. I'm still pretty sure the apple is gonna get the main attention. So there we have it, guys. They are set out, they are ready. So I will see y'all in officially five days from right now. It is 12.56. So in five days time, I will try to get the SD cards, upload them, and have all the videos and everything ready for the exact same time. So that's a complete five days. I have a good feeling about it. I think it's gonna do fairly well. What I'm really wanting to see is if it does as well as the buck bourbon. Now, if you watch the video, if you haven't, go watch it because the buck bourbon brought in three dough and a big old buck. So now I'm gonna make sure, speaking of which, I'm gonna make sure that this is good. I'm gonna show y'all that this one is good because last time this one didn't take any photos or videos. So turn it on. Okay, no, it's in photo mode, hold on. I'm gonna change it up. One second, I'm gonna change it from photos to video. Okay, we're good, we're in video mode. So, we're good now, it's turned on, and one, zero. Yep, it's clicking, red light's blinking. So we're good. Spot number two has no excuses now. So I will see y'all in five days with all the videos that we got, and we're gonna see which one is better, beats, or apples we're gonna find out we are gonna find out 
All right, guys, it has officially been seven days since we put out the Wild Game Crushed Apple and Wild Game Crushed Sugar Beets. Now, the reason I waited seven days instead of five, like I said, is because a day after I put this stuff out, we had a pretty major thunderstorm come through and it completely flattened out the piles. So I went from like a big pile like this to completely flat. So uh, we have about two days of footage that is just, uh, it's nothing. It's just the wind blowing, it's rain, it, nothing shows up. And on, um, not the camera at the creek, but the one at the clearing, uh, just nothing but wind. Every time the wind blew, uh, that uh, it, the camera picked it up and it started recording. So nothing but wind and everything down there at the second camera. So that was a complete uh, letdown as well. But uh, let's get into the uh, shots that we do have from this uh, first camera down at the creek. And that seems to be like the major hot spot here lately is uh, at the creek. So we definitely need to check into that. So the first video we got here is our beautiful uh, big buck bushwhacker. And uh, he's coming in and uh, he's checking it out. He smells it. He's looking, he's looking around. See, nice. Oh, he's so close. He's nosing down that crushed apple. Uh-oh. And something scared him off. That sucks. <clears throat> now, we got this big old fat possum that has just been the star of uh, these little episodes here recently. And he's going straight for the crushed apple. Now, as you can tell, the piles have completely flattened down because of the rain. But, you know, it's still there. It is what it is. And this possum is just all in it. Now, nope, is he, going, is he going for the sugar beet? Yeah, looks like he's on the sugar beet right now. Hard to tell because it's nighttime. Nope, went right back to the crushed apple. <laughs> That's funny. Still there. He's really enjoying himself. on top of the pile. <laughs> oh, we got a crow checking it out. Nope, crow didn't want no part of it. And nothing else. That's it's very depressing. I was really hoping we'd have uh, a lot more footage than that. You know, maybe more possum, more raccoon, maybe some hogs. Like, I haven't even seen any hogs on this stuff yet. That's what the crazy thing is. We have a whole bunch of hogs. Now, here's the other camera. As you can see, it's a horrible angle. I had a stick propping it up underneath it, and I guess that stick fell out and it uh, shot it back up. But, yep, nothing going on. There's a big old granddaddy long leg crawling across it, but nothing else at all which is very very saddening those are all the clips that we uh that we got from the uh, cameras um i'm gonna have to say i'm gonna have to give it to the uh crushed apple i think that's the winner on this one uh the possum was on top of the pile literally on top of the pile for three video clips and then the very first clip we got was the big buck that looked like he was definitely interested in it and he was nosing it down pretty hard, but something spooked him off and he wasn't able to fully commit to the pile. But I really think he was starting to go that way. At least that's the way it looked. So, um, you know, I would love to hear about, you know, y'all's experience with this stuff. If you've used crushed apple corn or crushed uh, sweet beets, please let me know in the comments and let me know how that worked for you and how you used it. Did you mix it with corn? Did you mix it with anything else? Like, you know, please let me know. I'd love to know what y'all do so I can try it next time. But guys, that is it for this video. I really hope y'all enjoyed this little bait test review between the wild game crushed apple and the wild game crushed beets. Uh, guys, please give this video the big thumbs up if you liked it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. If you haven't already, please hit that notification bell so you can get notified of more awesome videos like this drops, guys. Because deer season, we're testing all the baits this year. Guys, y'all are great. I love y'all. Y'all keep it real. Peace.